uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so in this video we are going to create a you can say a structure for making an api call we are going to write axios interceptor and all these things so first of all let's have a look what all libraries we are using so we are using axios redux react redux redux thunk redux dev tools and these are the uh, important libraries which we are using okay now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our actions let's say i'm writing a restaurant action uh, api.action.js okay first we will write our actions and then we will see how we can use axios interceptor to make it work right so what we will do here is we will get we will write some actions we will write some types like say some constants from a particular file so we can also create a constant file here i think we already have so we can use it index.js so uh, let's let's say we have another set of constant which is restaurant api constant and this is fetch restaurant data or oh, let's keep the conventions common request and then there is a success and the failure so this is failure we have this is success and now these actions uh, these types will import in our actions and there we are going to make a async api call using redux thunk okay now here is our api actions we will just import these and what we are importing is restaurant api constant from the constants okay we'll go one folder down and here we have constants okay now uh, what we will do is we will write our api service in a separate uh, file so here we can say new folder and we can call it as a apis and here we are going to write our api services which will do the which will have the interceptor and axios uh, mechanism to make an api call here we will let's say we are writing one particular action which is export const get restaurants okay this is our action and what we are going to do is we are going to do async dispatch async dispatch and this is the action we are going to write okay in this let's you can wrap this inside a try catch if you are getting any error then obviously we will make a failure call so here we can do two things we will have an api service also let's call it as a api service which we are going to write from uh, we have api folder so from there we will get an api service and then we can simply say const response uh, api service dot get let's say this is nothing but axios instance we will pass the api url which we are getting so i will just hard code it something now for for time being this can be get put post delete because this api service is nothing but axios instance and then once everything is done we can actually dispatch the payload now in the dispatch we need two things type type is uh, we are getting restaurant api constant dot uh, what this is let me just check restaurant api constant so here we created this constant okay we are picking from the different folder let me delete this it's constant and here we have okay the success right and then we also got the data or we can use the common conventions this will always be the payload 
response dot data okay if there is a failure we'll dispatch another kind of action and this can be a wait which we'll decide later how it is going to be structured and here we will have the payload which is nothing but an error here you can call it as error dot message or something like that it is fetch uh, failure that was success now we need to focus on writing the api service so here we are creating index.js and we will write our api service that api service will use axios so first of all we'll import axios call to require you can either use a common js style of importing or the esx like import everything as axios and here we will create axios instance axios api instance Exus API instance equal to Exus dot create. Now you can actually customize it based on your need, like what you want Exus API instance. Exus API instance dot interceptors. I think we should be able to access interceptors dot request dot use. Or if I import it in the different way import axios from axios then i think i need to use axios.default i'm just checking this if i'm able to get the instance import axios from instance okay we got everything yes dot interceptors dot uh, request dot use uh, inside this you can actually bind async in, in, in async interceptors async config because this config is something which we are which we can customize here and what i will do is i will just append the authorization headers so here config.headers and here we are going to get this from somewhere let's say access token and content type application json all these things you can customize here okay and we are returning the config if there is an error then we can just uh, reject the promise we can simply say promise dot reject and we can pass an error object okay so this is like uh, adding the interceptor now we can also add a response interceptor this is the custom implementation which i have written in my previous project so i will just add this exus interceptor dot response and here you can do one more thing here is like uh, once you start getting 403 that means user is signed out you can actually call a refresh token okay so here we can add a logic logic to get a new token okay once we get a new token you can apply this new token here currently i'm hard coding it but when you start getting 403 right so you will do a retry on the same request and you will assign the new token and here we will be just returning this uh, axios instance export default axios instance now on top of this axios instance we will be able to do get port post delete and this is our api action now api service can be a default import api service dot here we can see all the methods get put post delete patch these are the methods which we can apply now if you do the get put post all these methods will use this particular interceptor and it will be sending this authorization header also because we are intercepting the request object and also intercepting the response object to handle some kind of uh, 
authorization failure response otherwise we are not doing anything in the in the response interceptor request interceptor we are adding this access token so this access token we might be getting from somewhere let's say token equal to local storage uh, local storage dot get item i think local storage dot get item and here i have access token is a key this i will get and i will just pass this token here okay pretty much fine simple right now this interceptor we are going to use in all our api actions because we are going to import api services then do the get put post delete and uh, if there is a success dispatch the success handler otherwise dispatch the failure handler and redux chunk is going to take care of all the other things we don't need to worry about these things and this exios.get put post is going to return promise we are handling with await and this also is a sync await handler okay we are able to pass this dispatch because we are already using redux chunk and we can actually dispatch these actions in a series which we discussed in the last video okay now our framework is ready to do the integration with the apis passing the access token and making an actual api call now we have nginx in the middleware in the middle so we are going to hit only in the nginx nginx will forward api v1 restaurant to the restaurant microservice api v1 order to the order microservice api v1 user to the user microservice okay uh, thanks everyone